What's up guys, my name is Marcel Flores and welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. It's almost that time of year where it's time to go back to school, so today we're going to take a look at 10 pieces that are going to ensure that you look as stylish as possible on the first day of school as well as the rest for the entire semester. So I'm going to be channeling my high school self because I went to fashion college and at fashion college I was wearing suits and all that, like I didn't wear proper back to school clothes, so I'm thinking you guys that are going to high school or to a regular college, what are you going to want to wear on a daily basis to look fly and to be comfortable. With that said, let's jump right in. I think in every guy's closet, whether you're going back to school, whether it's college, high school, job or anything, you need a solid basic t-shirt and many of those. Right now I'm wearing one from Cos. I love Cos basic shirts because they have a nice fit, a nice quality. The price is a bit higher but you once again get really nice quality and I think they set you apart even when it comes to a basic t-shirt. Now if you want to have a little bit more fun, you can go for a fun t-shirt like this which I absolutely love this. I stumbled upon this at Urban Outfitters, it's from Champion and it's in store right now. Awkward, I feel like a lot of you, you must relate. Like if you're not, if you don't relate, you, you, I don't know, we can't be friends. I'm a really awkward person, so I love this t-shirt. And actually as I rung it up, the cashier went like, oh my god, I need to grab that before it sells out. No to you guys. Make sure to turn on the post notifications so you get these videos as soon as they're uploaded because a lot of those pieces are actually somewhat limited in store and you want to make sure that you cop them before they sell out. So two things, basic t-shirts and more fun t-shirts, I think is, they're gonna be your essentials, they're gonna be what you wear underneath. Even this, like when you wear this underneath a hoodie, it's just a simple Bordeaux shirt that adds a little bit more color to your look. Speaking of hoodies, and another fun piece, and one more time, another item that is probably gonna sell out pretty soon because it hit stores last week, is this Friends hoodie. It's just the black hoodie, but it's got the Friends. I'm a 90s kid, so when I saw this, I immediately fell in love with it. It fits fantastically, and it just shows your personality a little bit more than a simple gray hoodie. If that's your vibe, that's entirely cool. I think a hoodie should be in your closet. I personally would offer something that has a little bit more fun with it. To it. In it. Uh, about it. Next item. <laughs> Told you. Now in the spirit of comfort, let's talk about bottoms really quick. Right now, I'm wearing a pair of jeans and I think jeans are absolutely essential in any man's closet. The ones I'm wearing right now are from Uniqlo and what makes them great for a back to school beyond just being a pair of jeans is they have a lot of stretch in them. They're comfortable, you can move around, you barely feel them and they still look nice and put together. You can wear that with a t-shirt and it just, it looks, it's a simple look, but it works and it keeps you comfortable. If you need another, a whole nother level of comfort, and I used to wear a lot of sweatpants when I went to high school. I love the classic Adidas original ones. These actually have a little bit of a detail that makes them a little bit more classy and sets you apart from everybody else once again. And that's the middle seam on both legs. So they kind of imitate a, a trouser look. They are nice and tailored. This is a size small. And then the black ones are a size medium. I wanted to show you both so you can kind of see the difference in the fit. I really like these for a nice and tailored fit. If you want it to be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more chill, then I would go for the size medium. Usually I wear a size 31 waist in jeans, so there's your point of reference. Now if you're getting sweatpants that are actually a little bit more dressy, especially that color also, I mean, come on, that color is really nice. Then you allow yourself to also combine it with pieces like this, like a casual shirt. This works really well for me in terms of color, but also in terms of style because you went for a more dressy option for a sweatpant. And I think a casual shirt, like a flannel shirt like this, this one's from Paige, it's a bit more pricey. There's other options at H&M, at Topman, at Zara. This shouldn't be too hard to find. Find a color that works for you, find a pattern that works for you. I think this is super chill. You can wear it up top, unbuttoned. You can wear it by itself with the uh, with a pair of jeans to make it a little bit more dressed up, but I think it's a really versatile piece that's gonna also once again set you apart from most of the guys in school. Now we're getting into fall, so we do need to integrate a light jacket into your wardrobe. I personally love denim jackets. I can't overemphasize it. I think this needs to be in your closet. It's a classic Levi's jacket. I had a little bit of fun customizing it, so I'm spreading good vibes all throughout campus, I guess. It could be a nylon bomber jacket. It could be whatever you want it to be, but just a light jacket that works with your vibe and the rest of the pieces that you choose to wear. And to finish it off, we're gonna talk about three different accessories that are gonna ensure that your back to school wardrobe is on point. The first one being watches. I'm gonna talk about three different companies that I think offer beautiful watches that don't break the bank. Now, I could not find one of them, so I have two right here, and that is the Treva watch. 
Triva is a Scandinavian company and I think their design is really, really beautiful. It's been mimicked by many companies that launched after them. This is one of the first ones. Their price point is somewhat reasonable, depends on what kind of style you're going for. But I really, really like those and I think, they, I mean, I've had this for years and years. The quality holds up and it's a great investment. Another company is Coach. I think Coach makes beautiful watches like this one. So just in contrast, the black on black one and a navy one. And Timex is the most affordable out of all three. That's the one I forgot. That's the one I actually designed myself. They have a feature on the website where for about $100 you can design your own watch. Solid quality and it's wonderful because, you know, it's like your thing and you can absolutely match what color you have in your wardrobe most. Otherwise, for me, like it's always going to be a navy watch. I think a navy, I would choose over a black one because I know I can wear this with most of my wardrobe. The second accessory in our ninth item out of the 10 is a pair of sneakers. I would recommend just go with a solid pair of white sneakers, whatever that may be. I obviously love my own brand because I designed them as simple Ankari Flores white sneaker. They're a bit higher in the price range, but they're handmade in Italy. Right now I'm wearing a pair of Converse. Those used to be one of my absolute go-tos because they're just super versatile and classic shoes. They're easily combined with everything. So find a pair of sneakers that you know is gonna work with all of this. And last but not least, probably the most BTS item possible, a solid backpack. This is a vegan leather backpack from Urban Outfitters and the price point is $39, so super affordable. You get a cool aesthetic, but I'm actually about to upload another video entirely dedicated two backpacks because I want to introduce you to several brands that I automatically think of when I think backpacks. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that video coming up really, really soon. And that's already it. You're all swagged out for your BTS moment. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'll try and be there as much as possible. As always, thank you guys so much one more time for watching. I'll see you soon with the next video. And until then, stay dapper. Bye.